This video features the amazing 1977 rookie year of Hall of Fame running back Tony Dorsett. First a little statistical background, then some game footage, including each one of his touches in his first start in Week 10 at Pittsburgh. Let's get after it. As a freshman at Pitt, Dorsett ran for an incredible 1,686 yards. He was a four-year starter, two-time second-team All-American, one-time first-team All-American, the first NCAA running back to rush for 1,000-plus yards all four years, and the first NCAA running back to rush for 1,500-plus yards in three seasons. In 1975, he finished fifth in the Heisman Trophy vote and first in 1976 when the Pitt Panthers won the national championship and when he ran for 1,948 yards. His 6,082 career rushing yardage record stood until 1998 when Ricky Williams of Texas broke it with two more games played. But Tom, I'm frankly anxious to see Dorsett. Well, if Minnesota goes with a three-man front, which everybody is and the Vikings have promised to do, uh, that's the college defense that he ran against so well. He will know where everybody is, and I imagine Dorsett then will get his shot. There he is. Looks like Flip Wilson a little bit, doesn't he? We were watching him in the warm-up. And he does have that, that gliding stride that the great runners have. Mike Ditka alongside. <laughs> yeah, there's Tony Dorsett. He has the most acceleration off a, off a cut of any running back I've ever seen. And uh, I, can't, I can't wait to see him perform either. Scott Laidlaw and Tony Dorsett are the running backs for the Cowboys. And here is Dorsett's first carry. In the NFL, and it gets maybe a half yard. What a day for football up here. I've never seen it like this. Very humid, however. Pearson comes back in motion. Dorsett gets the call. Dorsett might have gotten a yard and might have gotten a first down. It is going to be very close. Jim Marshall led the charge. I wonder how old Tony Dorsett was when Jim Marshall started playing football. He might have been in a crew. I don't believe he was born. <laughs> it is third down. Dorsett did not get it. He'll get another crack. And again, he does not get it. Jeff Seaman. Don't you imagine the defensive people, and you're on, on the defensive side right now, don't you think they're keen, Tony Dorsett? Watch Eller come through and strip it. And watch number 50 now. And I'm going to tell you, the big guy from Stanford's got it humming. Ed White, you're one of the strongest men in football, but I'll bet that one drop of Eastman 910 adhesive is stronger than you are. No way. It's been less than a minute, and even you won't be able to pull them apart. Oh, come on. If one mm. drop of Eastman 910 is stronger than Ed White, mm. imagine how it can handle the tough jobs around the house. <clears throat> Incredible. Ed? Mr. White? Eastman 910 adhesive. One drop is stronger than you are. At Texas Stadium in the city of Irving, between Dallas and Fort Worth, and a sellout crowd fills this magnificent structure for the game between the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. First down, Dallas, and Dorsett gets another crack. Tries to get to the outside and does break another couple. He is exciting. Saw box deep, gives to Dorset. Number 25. Dorset. There's number one. The trap, Turner. It's a false trap. They ran everybody away and peeled back with the other back to block. Now, he would have scored in a touch game out in Central Park. Tony Dorsett's first NFL touchdown. Danny White, Tony Dorsett, and Scott Laidlaw. The Dallas setback. Here's Dorsett. Dorsett. 
In week three, Dorsett ran 10 times for 72 yards, but this fumble gave the Buccaneers their only points in a 23-7 drubbing. Head coach Tom Landry held him out of the starting lineup until week 10 due to Dorsett not being up to speed and mastering the complicated Cowboys playbook, pass blocking deficiencies, and the fine veteran play of starting halfback Preston Pearson. Although Dorsett played in all 14 regular season games, he only started four of them. So his 1,007 rushing yards, ninth best in the NFL, 1,280 yards from scrimmage, 8th best, and 13 total touchdowns, second best, are very impressive, as was his 4.8 average yards per carry, which was third best in the NFL. At Three Rivers Stadium in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Three Rivers, the Allegheny, and the Monongahela, (laughs) they come together to form the Ohio. As you look now at downtown Pittsburgh, the Golden Triangle, and it's the site today of the Dallas Cowboys against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Here's the offensive backfield, Roger Staubach having one of his greatest years, really, and he keeps adding those on. Dorsett in his first start. There are the receivers. Don't forget Billy Joe Dupree, the tight end. He's caught three TDs the last three games. And that's the offensive line. Neely, Lawless, Fitzgerald, Rafferty, and Donovan. Roger Staubach, the quarterback on first down to Tony Dorsett. So it is a second down situation for the Cowboys as Newhouse shifts behind Staubach. 11 yards to go for that first down and a draw play as Dorsett. He did not get back to the line of scrimmage and a flag is down as well. Detroit defeated Tampa Bay 16 to 7. The Buccaneers now 24 losses in a row and Welcome to our broadcast here at Three Rivers Stadium in Pittsburgh, where the score is nothing, nothing. Pat Summerall with Tom Brookshire's dark set. Squirts through for a first down for the Dallas Cowboys. And that's where he is so valuable. Jim yeah. Allen made the tackle. I'll tell you, for a guy you think runs outside, he doesn't run that well outside. He runs inside. On second down now, and 17 yards to go. Starbuck gives to Dorsett. And Tony picks up about 10. It's a first down Dallas at their own 31. And on first down, Roger Staubach goes back to throw and throws to Dorsett. About four, J.T. Thomas, the tackler. There is Tony Dorsett. Comes from nearby Aliquippa, Pennsylvania. Hopewell High over there. The main thing is that he didn't catch the ball much playing for majors in Pittsburgh U, but he's just caught his 17th pass. Wait till he learns the pass routes. He's going to be a little bit nasty to cover. It's a first down, Dallas at the Steeler 24. Roger Staubach gives to Tony Dorsett. He swings to the outside. Gets away from one or two. Boy, is he quick. Brettel. He had no chance. Furness had him cut off before he ever took the handoff. Third down situation now, about one. Dorsett a new house. Dorsett gets the call, and Dorsett gets inside the 15. Three backs, fourth and one. Dorsett is a deep one. About a foot. Dorsett hurdles over the top, and I think he got it. Watch it again. Okay. Belly to belly and back to back. And my friends, that's football. A ball of the Pittsburgh 13. No scores yet. 13 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Probably the last play coming up right now. Dorsett is going to score. And does. Is he quick? Is he something? And you know something? He knew he had it when he crossed the 10-yard line. He started to spike on the 5. But you know, he's not a spiker. And a very unassuming man. How he handles all that he's been given at such a young age, I don't know. But he's classy. They started with a trip formation left and then shifted back. Watch Lawless coming across. A super trap on Furness. It's over. Watch him start to tell you. He knows it now. The Steelers up by one. Here's Dorsett. Dorsett squirms around and gets to a three. Golden Richards and Drew Pearson come to the left side together in the formation. Gets back to Dorsett. Flag is down. Second down here. Pittsburgh leads Dallas 7-6. And back to Dorsett. He breaks a couple. Got close to first down yardage. Jack Hand is number 59 who finally made the tackle. The score here is 
Pittsburgh 14, Dallas 13. And we have two minutes and 40 seconds left to play before the half. Salvi comes in motion. Starbuck throws back to Dorsett. Flag goes down as Dorsett breaks into the secondary and picks up about six. They're going to call a crack back lock. And now they'd like to force Roger to go upstairs with something he doesn't want to do. Maybe he doesn't want to throw it real quickly. On first and 20, he throws outside to Dorsett. And look out. Can be dangerous, this fellow. Mel Blunt finally tackled him, but they almost got the first down. He was really looking forward to this game and to his first start of this year, of course. So many fans and so many friends in this area from his collegiate days and from his high school days nearby. He asked for 100 extra tickets. Ball at the 36-yard line for the Cowboys. Two minutes, seven seconds left to play. One more play before the two-minute warning. Set gets the call again and again. He got about eight. Scores 14-13. Pittsburgh leads Dallas. Second and three situation from the shotgun. The protection is good, and Dorsett has it. Oh! And he is popped hard by Winston. The ball went loose. And let's see what they rule. I think the reception will stand, but that was a fumble. And I'll tell you, Winston can move and hit at the end of it. He has destroyed uh, a couple of Cowboy receivers already. Dorsett now is checking to see who it was that ran over him. First and 10, Dallas. Dave Salvi sets up on the left side. Pitch it back to Tony Dorsett. Looked like he might option for a moment, but he didn't. Mel Blunt, number 47, came up to make the tackle. There is Mrs. Bradshaw. Hi, Gojo. She turned commentator. Show we're going to have on CBS, huh? She's going to be working for us on super skates. She is a super skate. January the 21st, that'll <laughs> be on. 14-13. Tell you, Neely's been doing a good job on White White. I'll tell you that. We haven't seen a lot of him yet. Dorsett dropped it. I believe Dallas recovered. First down, Dallas Cowboys after a tremendous punt by Bobby Walden. Cowboy ball at their own 15. 14 13 Pittsburgh lead. And off Dorsett. Three or four. Roger Staubach on first and 10. Has Newhouse and Dorsett behind him. And here is Tony Dorsett behind Burton Lawless. A few. And he's been popped a couple of times. Dorsett got three. So it'll be second and seven. Line of scrimmage, the Dallas, 27. Draw play. Dorsett bounces off a couple, and look at him. All on his own. Lauren Taves finally made the tackle, and Dorsett is near a first down. I'm telling you, he was hit at the line of scrimmage, and somehow he gets both feet on the ground. The penalty flag may walk it off, but this young man can hit and he can take it. The AFC Central is something else again. Starbuck to Dorsett. A few, but not many. Ernie Holmes. Tom Landry, the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys, looking on. His team trails 28-13. They have the football at their own 28. Here comes Duke Pearson in motion. Tony Dorsett in motion. Dorsett cuts back for perhaps four and the smooth set of hands huh and tough Dorsett looked like he's gonna throw still looked like he's gonna throw look where Drew Pearson is he's down on the 15 yard line all by himself I think he was trying to throw and might have lost control and decided yeah he was gonna pass he has thrown one already this year but wherever you are you'll see it all in its entirety Tony Dorsett slips away from one or two. And a flag goes down. That's going to be a face mask against somebody. Robin Cole is the guy who made the tackle. And he also might be the guy with the face mask violation. 